Okay, I'm going to talk about something a little bit different right now. I had mentioned about my friend that her um, niece had died and they thought she had a heart attack. Well, I guess come to find out it was a fentanyl overdose. And I told Christy that she should go ahead and speak about it to get the word out there and hopefully she can help to save some people's lives. And then I got to thinking that, you know, I went and I said that and here I've got my own story that I, I should tell to get the word out there and try and help save some lives. Um, it's not my own story, but it's something that somebody that I know, um, she used to have a mother and two sisters and her mother ended up having to have surgery and they, they nicked the bowel, if I remember correctly, and she ended up she got badly infected and she died and the two sisters were having issues well i'm sure she was too but having issues dealing with it and the one she was a nurse and she was taking prescription i believe it was pain pills and she they say she accidentally overdosed but some people are wondering if it wasn't accidental because of how she was having trouble dealing with losing her mom. And then the other sister, after losing the mom and her sister, she started talking about wanting to commit suicide. And it sounded like she said it quite a bit. And people, family, from what I was told, figured that she was just saying it for the attention that she wouldn't actually do it because if she was going to do it some people think if you're going to do it you're just going to do it you're not going to say anything but when you say something it's a cry for help because you don't want to actually do it and so they figured she wouldn't do it and it got worse and worse and then um, one day her son came home now, I don't remember how old Timmy was at the time. I'm going to try and find out. And if I can find out, I'll see about putting that in the um, description. But he was young. I mean, he was a little kid, but he was young. And he came home to find his mom was hanging because she had hung herself. And from what I was told, it was very obvious she had changed her mind. But it was too late. I have wondered myself if she maybe heard him get home and she did this as yet another bid for attention because saying it wasn't getting her the results that it used to I don't know maybe not but that's that's what I kind of have wondered and so Timmy came home and he found his mom hanging and she was dead and I told them they needed to get him therapy I said this is bad you can't see something like this. I mean, even just to find anybody, but especially somebody you love and especially a young kid to find his mother. I said, he needs therapy. And I was told, well, we don't tell our personal information to strangers. It's like, I'm not saying tell your personal information to strangers. I'm saying he needs to go and tell the therapist what he saw, what he went through and get some help dealing with it. But they never did, despite the fact that I said it and said it. And so I'm not sure how long after it it was, but he got into drugs. And I figure it was probably because he couldn't stand remembering what he saw. You know, I mean, that had to have been such a horrific thing for him. And so one day we found out that he overdosed on fentanyl. That there were messages at the last. He messaged his drug dealer and wanted to know, hey, what'd you give me? And then he said, I can't breathe. When they found him, he was dead. Young man. I can't help but wonder if they'd gotten him the help. Maybe he wouldn't have gotten into drugs. Maybe he wouldn't have done this. I mean, maybe it would have happened anyway. I don't know. But please try to avoid taking drugs and and try to, to get help for those that you know that do take drugs 
and just want to try and keep people from overdosing on fentanyl or anything else um, because I'm hearing that, that the fentanyl overdoses are on the rise. More and more drugs are coming into this country than what there used to be. So, anyway. So, in, in a short amount of time, my friend lost her mother and her two sisters and then her nephew. And... I know for sure that as far as Timmy, I'm, I'm pretty sure at least, that if he had gotten the help that he needed to get through such an awful thing, that maybe he'd still be here. Um, I've talked with his friend Chris, and he said that, yeah, Timmy had dreams. He wanted to have a family. He wanted to have kids. All that's gone because he overdosed. So everybody, please take care. Try and get help for anybody that, that needs it, that's on drugs or thinking about taking drugs. And stay safe. Bye.